Thea, Thea, come on into the studio. We'll uh, please give us the recap of what we're do of whatever whatever you guys went through. Oh, oh yes, okay. Um, head headphones. Head there you go. Headphones on. Yeah, yeah. Head okay. Okay, good. Oh, okay. Good. I, good. I, good. I yes. put the headphones on. Okay. Um, so last time uh, in Spoopy, we journeyed to the city of Lumot, uh, where we were harassed by the city guards until uh, the guard captain Dornikos um, escorted us into the city. Uh, once we showed him the head of the Bodak that we slew, uh, he got very serious and told us that we should go uh, to the Temple of the Raven Queen. Um, before we went there, though, uh, we went to a hospital's emporium for a map, but we ended up going shopping, and I bought a lot of very nice cloth. Um, then we went to the Raven's Eri, uh, a beautiful temple of the Raven Queen, where we were met with some very hostile Shadarkai guards, um, who would not acknowledge us, but were very rude uh, to our friend Rosa Volda. Um, and Algus attempted to step in between and unfortunately got hit. Um, they were very rude. Um, but then we got to talk to a priestess of the Raven Queen. Um, and after that, uh, we went to the Summer Bloom. Uh, we met a dryad there. Uh, Ori was uh, the female dryad, but uh, they were also uh, an entity with the Olmar. Um, a devil that was bound into her body. Uh, so it was a lot of switching from grumpy old Marth to very happy Oli. Um, and then uh, we were talking a lot about uh, the presence of demons in Shadowfell. Kaliana looked less than impressed with uh, these followers of the Dawnfather. Um, when we mentioned the demon Asbil, it did not go very well. Um, or in old Marth told us more about that, um, how he was planning something, during they had to be blood war, rumors broke out, didn't work, everyone died. But after that, we went uh, towards the fighting pits in the docks, and we found a very big struggle. Algus ran into the fight, Golan ran into the fight, Gorgon Dola ran into the fight, uh, and then I was uh, panicking, and I didn't know if they needed someone to help them, so I ran into the fight as well, and here we are. I'm here for my take. Nope, nope. We're, you're go, go back to the dock. You're going back to the dock. Get over there. Get, get. I'm just get over here. Get over there. You go. Get on. Get up. Get on stage. Where's my juice? <laughs> now you're at a brawl. Everyone is fighting. People are stabbing. Glass is breaking. Everyone's fighting. You guys all have. Gulron is the only one who's jumped in. And we are starting now with Pagma and Kaliana fighting, or sorry, sitting at the tea shop that they sat next to. This tea is a very good uh, good brand. I don't know. This Shadowfell has lots of very nice plants. Well, what what kind of tea did you get? I, I have a nice chamomile here. I don't know. I pointed at the picture. Fair enough. I'm, I must say, I'm quite disappointed in all of them moving forward. Look, look at them go. It is the fighting spirit in them all. They cannot help it. Absolute imbeciles. <laughs> I don't know what to say. They are wild spirits. Rosa, you see her flying across the group as she's running, running, running. And as she's going, you see her bring down a rope as you as she ties it around a group of five, basically, orcs and halflings who are caught in the mix. And she just falls straight over. Algus, you're up. Do they? Most of these people look undead, or is there just a? a, a you see that there are a few undead mixed in, um, and a lot of people behind you guys are lined up. Basically, there's a huge crowd. This is a huge. It looks like this used to, is a huge event, and you see that there are crimson sashes, kind of like the two orcs that are just kind of sitting behind you guys against the warehouse watching. Uh, you see Kaliana and Pagma sitting at the tea shop. And you see a group of people, like, on the do on other docks, kind of, like, cheering and yelling. You see people betting money and throwing cash around and throwing gold around. Um, but a lot of these look undead. A lot of these look living. Everyone looks pale. Uh, you guys have any strategy? Because uh, I have no idea. Rosa's, Rosa Valda's gonna, Rosa Valda's just gonna run and tie, and Shear's already gonna run and tie things. I mean, she's already started that. I got nothing. Any um, ideas? Okay. I've got the mix of magic, uh, acrobatic attack, uh, 
history to see if people have been fighting with each other? Perception? Um, well, <laughs> yes, I'm gonna grab a chair. I'm just gonna whack some shit. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a chair. <clears throat> Roosevelt is a, you know, she's ran already into the middle, just dropping a rope and tripping people, and, and there's a huge crowd of five to ten people on the floor as you see her bring out her scimitars and start to get ready to fight. Uh, Alright, we're gonna do athletics for a chair attack. Sure. Roll it. That'll just still be your, like, unarmed ah. strike. 17. What? No natural 20. Okay. That hits. Oh, sorry. Uh, what, no. the... Hold on. I, I didn't add my modifier. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shit. 23. You see Algus grab the chair as he runs in. He jumps onto the dock, holding chair in hand, and he just whirls around. <laughs> breaking it on the faces of several people as the legs are breaking apart and splintering <laughs> into people's faces. You see people, ah, my eye! As he's breaking everything. Kaliana, up, you're up. Oh my goodness. Um, I can't even watch. And I'm just going to turn around and just sip tea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the fighting is fun. Thea, you are up. Okay, I'm going to fire both the person who looks like they want to harm Algus. Sure, just since go Since that ahead. is right in front of me. Sure. So roll an attack. Mm-hmm. A 12 plus 6, that is an 18 to hit. That will hit. Roll me what skill okay. you want to use with it. Oh, what skill do I want to use with it? Mm -hmm. Um, I have it written down. Um, I will use Perception. Okay. Here's my damage dice. Gosh darn it. Uh... Oh, did you want me to roll damage? Nope, no damage needed. No rolling oh, for right. damage. No it, damage. Just, it just hits. Okay. Okay. So you want me to roll perception next? Yeah, roll your perception. Oh, dirty twenty. Okay. As you are you're basically shooting these fireballs out at everything else. Out of the fury that people really have never seen Thea have up until this moment, you see a couple of halflings and gnomes kind of pile on top of each other's shoulders and run towards you. As you're shooting fireballs in their direction, you hit two of them and they just just fall over. It is now... Gulron, you're up. Okay, I would like to rage. Sure. I will go ahead and roll the... Um, roll the magic, yeah. The, uh, the D8. In the middle of this entire, if in this middle of the entire fight, you hear <laughs> as Golron like raises his hands, and Shade is like howling, and everybody just kind of this large mound of undead skeletons, and orcs, and gnomes, and halflings, and humans just kind of fly off around him. Okay, let's see. Uh, that is a six. Okay, what does that what do? Is six. Let me see. That is. Oh. Um, that is, my armor class increases by one, and anyone, any ally within ten feet gets that as well. Okay. As you are roaring and throwing these up into the sky, you, a few <laughs> of these elves jump onto your back, and with two hammers, just swing on down <laughs> onto your back as you take five damage. Uh, is that halved or no? Yes, that is halved, so down to two. Okay. Kaliana and Pagma, drinking tea, smoking cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Pagma, um, what do you like to do for fun? Sometimes I go hunting. Sometimes I go fighting other Leonin. Sometimes I go hunting other Leonin. <laughs> and then sometimes I pray to trees. It is a very fulfilling life. Oh, you pray to trees. That seems interesting. Nature gives all, and it does not uh, leave you wanting more. A firebolt <laughs> flies between <laughs> you two. <laughs> I, I do say, please watch where you're aiming. We are not part of this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Algus, was that you? Uh, yeah, you know, it's a brawl. <laughs> Yes, go fight us. Yeah, this religion thing that you are so <laughs> focused on. <laughs> the, the little, this little old lady walks out. 
More tea, darlings. Yes, please. Oh. Thank you, Alondra. Thank you, thank you. There you go. There you go. <laughs> she like hot, like wobbles back to her tea. It's such a lovely fight today. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, jumping back into the fight. That's absolutely wonderful. Rosavalda, oh. Rosavalda is. You see her immediately like flare up as her hair goes wild, and she spins around with the two scimitars, swiping at everybody. You see her jumping up on a couple of poles and swinging around, and Algus, this looks. Very similar to what you have done with your um, mistletoe drop kick, minus the mistletoe. <laughs> I see you've been watching. All right. <laughs> she, she's, she's just so flurried up, but she has no idea what's going on right now. She's so caught up in the fight. Algus, it is your turn. After breaking my last chair, mm -hmm. I'd look. I'd like to look to the side, grab another chair. Okay. And this time, uh, I would love to use uh, a green flame blade. Okay. <laughs> Arcana. The, the chair goes on fire now <laughs> as you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Arcana? Yep. You, is that how we're yep, doing this? Yep, that's how we're doing it. Natural 20! Natural okay. Yes. This giant, this, this yes. flame flies out. And you see him swipe up, swipe down, and like swipe to the other side as the chair breaks apart in the final piece. And this giant <laughs> explosion of green flame and ch wooden chair flies out of the group as these just a mob of huge a number of people just fall apart. <laughs> Everybody just kind of pauses for a moment <laughs> as Alka's like, uh, uh. And then the fight starts again. <laughs> Kaliana, it is your turn. Hmm, it seems this tea. Oh dear, Ar Argus is throwing around a flaming chair. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. There's a broken oh. piece of the chair lines in front of you. Still hot. I... <laughs> yeah. That is quite anyway. a talent. <laughs> Pagma, so do you so do you believe in a god? Uh, no, there is no god worth our uh, attention. Well, I do say. Okay, Alga seems to have this covered. I will help go on. Gorgonzola. Okay. Um, so, if I use the investigation check, does that mean I cannot attack this round? You still can use a skill plus your skill. So you use your actual action and then your skill check. So you get both. Okay. I know I didn't okay. adjust it there, but do your thing. Okay. Excellent. Um, I will try to firebolt um, someone who is hurting Gorgonzola. Sure. Mm, one that is only, on it is only an 11 to hit. You are shooting these firebolts, but throughout the chaos, it doesn't seem to really be hitting anybody. In fact, it's just kind of bouncing off things as it's flying out. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. oh la la. Another uh, firebolt flies to... in your direction, Kaliana and Pagma. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I had about enough of this. <laughs> uh, and, then, and then I will investigate to see if there are any weak points in the duct that I can exploit. Sure. God damn it. It is only a 15. Okay. You see a box <coughs> that's in a, in a couple of barrels that people are fighting on top of. About like four of them are fighting on top of. So you can... That's your that's your thing that you think you can break that. Excellent. Thank you. That is my turn. Galron, you're up. These elves are still holding on top of your back. Uh, let's go ahead and roll athletics. Ooh. 22. Uh, you, like, buck, and the two elves fall off, and in fact you slam down, and are able to push and knock down everyone surrounding you. So about five people on the ground prone next to you. Hopping over to Pagma. And that is how I single-handedly took down the Amphisbiena. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, who? The Amphisbiena. Very oh. large creature in the I'm, uh, I'm so sorry. It's so hard to pay attention to you right now. <laughs> As There's like an elf falls so much in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Please, sir. Please. 
I, I've just about had enough of this! Not on her fancy robes. They are very important to her for some reason. <laughs> um, both of you, real quick, throw me a perception check. <clears throat> Sauron enters the fight. <laughs> oh, fuck no. <laughs> uh, 16. Okay. I got a nat 1 for a total of 6. six. You're, Pagma, you're so caught up in the storytelling and, like, just enjoying your, like, talking about your prowess that you don't see this. Kaliana, as you, as Pagma's telling you a story, you kind of look to your left, and coming down, basically the walkway behind this large line of people who are watching the brawl, oh, you Jesus. see a handsome devil-horned man with a well-trimmed goatee leisurely walking towards you with his red skin and short horns curling over his head. He has a smug expression and very adept at attracting attention. On his head, he has what looks to be a little goat who is red with little black horns and amber eyes. He, both him and the little goat have mohawks, tall and dark, fall down to a braid to his side he has a robotic dog made of dark polished metal with a soft red glow emanating through the cracks between the different panels it looks menacing but it comes at you with a happy with a happy little trot he's wearing a dark robe who is exposing his large chest and you notice that he carries a jug that he's drinking from he also wears a bright crimson sash around his, at his waist. He passes to you, and you hear him talk to Alandra. Ala, it is another fight. It's so wonderful. Look at this. Two coffees, please. Thank you. We'll get to that later. Back <laughs> into the fight. Um, Roosevelt is running at you, just full speed. And all right, hold on. Let me get my back straight. <laughs> go ahead and just roll me like roll me an athletics check. Uh, I think. I mean, not horrible. It's okay. a where is it? Fourteen. Okay. Uh, she flies at you. Grab her on the lift, and you or grab her on the foot, and you flip her up. You see her pull the bow, and she shoots the person that was coming at you that was running behind you. And they just knock over and keel over. All right, Algus, it is your awesome. turn. All right. Um, I would like to use history. Uh, sure. Like get people together. A hundred percent. You see that there are. You see that there are a. You see there's an orc. Um, and an elf running at you, with like a sword and, and shield. Okay. Uh, and uh, if I do this, uh, I got a 19. Mm -hmm. Easily, you can whatever you say, whatever you say, however they, you, however you think they come together, you just make it up. <laughs> Remember when the orcs ate all your friends? I do. <laughs> they kind, they kind of look at each other. To the elf. Hey, hey, he's right. And they like, they go at each other, jumps over at the orc and starts stabbing him. <laughs> All right. Amazing. <laughs> Kaliana. <laughs> Kaliana, you are up. So this, so this gentleman who is uh, sat beside us. Um, he's not sat he, beside you yet. He's just oh, next he's to you. Just ordering, yes. Yeah. Um, was he looking at, at at me at all? You said he was coming towards me, but... Mm -hmm. You can see that he was eyeing you, like very like oh, smirkingly fine. towards you. Oh, oh mm. well, I do say. <laughs> um, does he look like a man of, uh, like... Uh, uh, nobility or some sort of oh um, he's got money 100 percent. he's got money um so i'm going to look at this man and just say hello you look like a man of distinction hmm. hello you look new in town uh very much so. <laughs> looking for someone don't... to show me the sights if it were oh is that so don't oh. try it she is a woman of the cloth she will not <laughs> accept any any lovers at this time i see that she's a woman of very expensive cloth is that so yes. And it seems like we, an eye for an eye, we have a, a very similar taste, I see. Very much so. May I, may I take a seat? Please, by all means, Pagma doesn't mind. This is my companion, Pagma. Pagma, very good to meet you. My name is Cecilio. Cecilio, I've... what a wonderful name. 
He put, he gestures to the he gestures to his little the little, his dog. This is Rune. He uh, and the dog looks very much like a shepherd, just metal. Uh, and this, as he points to his head, is Chibita. This little like goat that pops up. Me. <laughs> Oh, what lovely pets you have. Thank you, thank you. They are the most beautiful to me. To me. But I must say, you are the most beautiful half-elf that I've ever seen. Well, Miss... Well, Mr. Uh, Mr. Cecilio, I do say, how forward of you. I don't want to. I like to be forward. I like to be honest Especially with someone as regal as yourself. Oh, you flatter me so, mister. I only tell the truth. Al <laughs> Alanja, we need a cleanup underneath Kaliana's chair. <laughs> <laughs> I kick I kick back my <laughs> You see you see the little old lady? Oh, is there a spill? <laughs> a big one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> jumping back into the fight. <laughs> Thea, it is your turn. <laughs> Okay, wow, I am going to fly to. <laughs> I am going to fire bolts at the box that looks weak, and I would like to take down everyone fighting on top of it. Okay, roll it. At advantage. Oh, okay. First one was an eleven. Oh shit, that one fell off the table. God damn it. Uh, oh, okay. Twelve plus six. It doesn't eighteen to hit. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, ro what are you skill are you using? Um, the skill I will use, I will use my Arcana skill, because I would like to try and do max damage. Okay. As you Magic. are doing this, you kind of get this very inspiration from all the fighting going on, so you do this, like, you spin around as you, as the flames start to come from your hands, and what these humans are, these, you see that these pale humans are running towards you, and as you kind of flame up, they, they're back up and, like, trip over each other and fall down, and you fire at these boxes and these barrels as they all explode and about 15 people fall into the water and everything's exploding so everyone sees this <laughs> explosion happen again as incredible as the everything Inclamp. flies everywhere <laughs> Gulron you're up oh then I'm just gonna go yeah. to town go for it to go to town that's the point investigation to try to see where his weak point is so I can deal the most amount sure. of damage possible roll it or there sure Roll it. Straight fifteen. Okay. Uh, as you are as you are slamming down, you notice that next to you, and a little bit of ways from you, about like 10, 15 feet, a crack has started to emerge. And you can gather that if you break it, you can very much make a hole that will sink about fifteen to twenty people that are all brawling in front of you. <laughs> sure. Um, I'll do that. That will be your next turn. Going into hopping over to Cecilio, Pagma. And Kaliana. So, do you two... Uh, do you have anybody in the fight? Friends? Family? Enemies? I wouldn't call them we quite have... friends. They are three friends and a horse. Oh, the, the centaur is your friend. Oh, good. Then I... No? As you... Yes, I, I, mean, <laughs> I guess we do have a horse <laughs> in the race, if, if you will. Uh -huh, that is a good one. Not enough about them. Tell me, tell us about you. So, I, are you a member of the Crimson Sash? I own it. <gasps> well, how did such a gentleman like you get in such a position? I've protected this city for quite some time. I destroyed the Bone Stalker. Was the man? Was the giant's name? As you see him, he crosses his legs. Very big fight, it huge battle, and I came on top. My people run the Crimson Sash. I did not mean I'm not trying to lie to you, but I am Cecilio Balaren Cura. That is my full name. And I would very much, if you would honor me with such a thing, maybe you would be interested in joining? Or maybe spending time for more uh, personal adventures. Well, I don't know about joining. I don't think protection is my forte, but I do need a little protecting myself. Mm, I would be very happy to protect you. 
<laughs> and I'd be very happy to have you at my side. <laughs> As he, like, nudges you. Oh. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> this human flirting is... This human flirting is I'm, very I'm gross to me. I'm half elf, excuse me. <laughs> I did not stutter. <laughs> um... Okay. The you guys are as you guys are talking um like the air all of a sudden starts to change around you guys as all of a sudden everything feels heavy. Everything feels damp and you especially to Kaliana and to Pagma you don't hear the fighting anymore. I need everyone to roll me charisma saving throws. <gasps> oh no, we're moving again. And you raise your hand, because I can see everybody. Raise your hand if you got above a 14, just to make this easier. I did. Okay. Oh, the, uh, oh dear. Everyone oh dear. else, this, this heavy is going and breathing and you see Cecilio son of a bitch fuck they're here um what is this Thea your senses go dark and you are you just can't think of you think of your past you think of home and you are frightened as from the warehouse to your left Kaliana and Pagma roll me perception checks both of you you see the crowd around you for the for since you guys aren't frightened is pressured down they're weighed down same thing with Thea and and Rosavalda she they they feel like they look like they're kneeling and crouched and they're looking at the direction behind you guys as 24 okay 11 sounds good as two individuals walk up one ah. A towering bald man, huge, with his off-white skin. He wears black robes that are wrapped around his waist that fall to the ground. Over his chest, he wears the symbol of Karad. Contrasting against his pale blue skin, or his pale skin, a black tattoo of two hands firmly grasping a hammer slamming down. His expression sinister, his eyebrows furrowed and grimly smiling. This is our dog. There, Kaliana, you see a individual with a hollow mask, black hood, holding what looks to be a brain in a jar as they part ways. You <laughs> see that this bald man goes forward and this other individual goes to the left and just disappears. And to to you guys, to steal it, goes, Pinche Carrara. As a cloud starts to form up in the sky. Keeping the same initiative. So now you guys, everyone else, you see lightning striking. <laughs> A couple of people are being hit by this and you watch as people around you convulse in agony. None of you are hit by this, by the way, from where you're at. Their bodies contorting in uncomfortable ways, indescribable pain etched into their faces as the electricity jolts through their bodies. While some drop lifeless to the ground, more unfortunate souls, you hear wheezing and screams <laughs> as their bodies burn, their muscles tear and blood pools into their mouths. And soon the last fall to the ground, screams fading and girling in gasps until everything is eerily silent. The man walks up to neither of you and just walks forward to the other side of the dock, passing all of you. If you want, you can do a you can do an opportunity of attack, except for Thea and Rosavalda because you guys are frightened. Does anyone want to do that? I wouldn't like to attack, but I'd like to do an opportunity of of speech. <laughs> Sure. Now I don't know who the who the who the fuck you are, but uh, 
Ah, Doc. Uh, I fought for it. You see him. Um. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um. Does. Does Shade see anything odd? Because of his ethereal awareness? Nope. Nothing like that. Okay. Okay. So, you want to fight us for the dark? <laughs> so be it. <coughs> Let's fight. Kaliana, uh, prepare yourself. This, this may not be a thing we want to sit out, just in case. I, I agree. Uh, Mr. Bararankula, um, what, what do you know of this individual? This is the Karad Dark Master. They own one dock already. With this, they're gonna try to own two and own the Drowned Quarter. He looks to you guys. Unfortunately, I can't get involved. They are also a client of mine. The Crimson Sashes protect everyone in the city, and they pay high price. But I'm sure I believe in you. If you're going, are you? If you're going in. If I were to go in, do you have any tools that would be to my advantage? Knowledge, perhaps? He takes off Chivita. Take, take Chivita. Me. <laughs> you see him uh, ins like inscribe something onto it, and you see kind of electricity go into the eyes of Chivita. And she just sits on the table in front of you. I oh oh okay, interesting. I will take her. Perhaps you should uh, let me hold her. I don't know how well you are. Yes, please, the, uh, take, animal. please take the animal. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just just so that it does not die. <laughs> yes, yes. Not not that we will let it die, of course. <laughs> you would let it die if you just let Chivita stop. die. You owe me a garnet. Oh, I'll owe you a whole lot more. Oh. I look okay, close to your that. legs, girl. <laughs> I, I said it's just quiet. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Okay. Um, so as so I'm gonna just brush up my uh my uh gown. I don't know if it's my turn yet or anything. Nope. This is all okay. we're we're waiting for that right now. Okay. Well, Pagma. Things just got serious. Yes, let us go. Okay. Going into the initiative. Does anyone before that, anyone want to say anything else to this individual? Right now, there's lightning cover, there's fog, there's a whole cloud covering the entire area, and lightning is striking closest to Algus, about 10 feet from you. Do I have to say anything to him, or could I say something to Shade? You can say anything to anyone at the moment. Okay, um, I'll tell him to hide, and he'll use his uh, his shadow blend. Sure. You see the rest of the group, the rest of the crowd, whoever's still alive. It has charred bodies just are left in the ground on the ground. Um, everyone's running. You see, Kate, like before, everyone's just backing up and running, or running, or just walking away. So now it's just you guys and this one dude. I don't know. I don't think you know who the fuck you're dealing with here, buddy. I'm Algus. Many nicknamed man. World Heavyweight <laughs> Champion. Now, if you want to tussle, be prepared to lose at least one kidney. You see him look towards Kaliana. Oh, I know who we're messing with. And all of you will die. <laughs> All right, but I don't know who I'm messing with. So care to care to share here? You fucked with one of our merchants, and you see him puff out his chest. You will die by the Karad. And oh. we go into initiative. All right. Pagma, you're up <laughs> I, first. I was a genuine customer. <laughs> 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 All right, let's fuck this bitch up. I'm gonna cast healing. Bear it. Sure. Uh, put that guy over 60 feet. So, uh, 
like right here probably so I oh yeah we have a man <laughs> where I'm guessing like this is is this the guy here it's him right the blue one yes oh he's right here hey yeah who you're in front of is um uh is uh, uh what what's her face right yeah thank you so I'm yep. putting my healing spirit right here sure and then I will so healing spirit's a bonus action and mm -hmm. then to wild shape is a bonus action can I do that or is that too you got to choose one or the other Okay, I'll just do the healing spirit. Sure. And that's it. For Alrighty. Now. Sounds good. Alright. And going over, Rosa Valda is up. You see her, she's kind of still in this rage and looking around and kind of comes two out of it. Elgus. Kill? Or Yep. Okay. You see her pull out she moves oh, a little oh, bit we to... just killed a bunch of people <laughs> yeah and that was fun do we keep going uh yes but uh, it will not be fun it will be out of necessity um all right <laughs> you see her take her bow out and strike at the and fire she misses the first shot hits the second one and i'll do my own thing Going over to the next person is Kaliana. You're up. I'm going to walk up. Uh, that this guy called me out. I am tired of looking over my shoulder at every shadow. I am tired of the veiled threats that your entire family has been laying against me. I am tired of it all. And we are ready to kill you. Okay. I, I couldn't think of anything better than that. <laughs> You're so flustered by, all, by all the flirting. Makes sense. I do say. <laughs> I will uh, throw out. Um, let's see here. I didn't realize I was going uh, uh, already. Um, bonus action spiritual weapon. Sure. Um, and then so I'm going to. Well, I'm going to move up actually. <laughs> so I can get in range. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Um, that's close enough. And then cast a uh, spiritual weapon on this guy here. Okay. And I will do an attack with my uh, my sun razors. Sounds good. Give me just one sec. The shuriken-like holy symbols fly yes. out. I thought I oh. went before Kaliano. Oh, yeah, you did. My bad. It's okay. We'll, we'll get you next. Uh, 17. All right, that will hit. Awesome. All right, D8. Uh, oh, we're dealing ooh. damage now? <laughs> this is normal. Yeah, this is a normal fight. Uh, uh, so 11 points of damage. Okay. And and then um, I'm going to cast for a, um, a cantrip because I, I can't do a, an actual spell, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to do... Uh, toll the dead on this guy. Sounds uh, good. Wisdom, wisdom saving throw of thirteen. Natural fifteen. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. The ring, the shurikens <laughs> go into his into his skin as he's. You, you've already messed with one of us. I'll make sure to kill you first. But as you hit him, the cloud above dissipates and disappears. Um, and as you throw in the toll of the dead, the, blow, the bell starts to ring and nothing comes out. Algus, you're up. All right, is this guy wearing armor? He is shirtless with dark robes. All right, and he's like big beefy dude. Yeah, he's a big beefy dude. I all right. I'm gonna cast um, Shadow Blade as a uh, bonus action. Sure. And I will. That's a nice uh, chunk of damage if it hits. Yes, it is. Uh, I will make an attack with strength. I know I can use it dexterity. Can I use it with strength? Yeah. It's finesse? Yeah. Okay. You can, you can swap between the two, sure. Thank you. <clears throat> that is a non-natural 20. That hits. All right. Okay. 
to seven points of uh, psychic. Okay. As you hit him, he you, he just takes his a second back. Oh, I didn't think you'd be that strong. <laughs> Maybe I'd kill you first. Anything else? I, I get that a lot. <laughs> I bet you do. Yeah. Anything else? That's action, bonus action. All um, right. Thea, you're up. She's still frightened, yeah? Yeah, you were frightened for one minute. You can break. You can do a saving throw to kind of break it, though, but that'll be your turn. Okay, Um. yeah, she's frightened. She's just clutching at Maliette's stuff. Please, Maliette, don't leave me. Um, That was Charisma again? Yep, 14. Oh, boy, with that plus zero. Me a five. All right, <laughs> you are still you. You are holding Marriott closer, and you're trembling. And he looks directly at you as you're doing this. Fear the crowd, little girl. She cries. Oh God! You didn't, come on, man. That's not nice. <laughs> you wait your turn. Goldron, you're up. Okay, so um. Me and Shade both have the same amount of movement, so I'm going here. Sure. And Shade is going here. Sure. That will give you advantage. So we're flanking, so we both get advantage. So I'm going to go ahead and roll my attacks first. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's an 18. That will hit. Okay. 1d12 plus 4 plus 2 because I'm raging. Uh, 6 plus 2, so which is 8. Sounds good. Um, and then I get to add... I do a d20 plus... Uh gets a plus uh, five to hit I believe. so that would be ten that just hits oh it just hits cool so he does 2d6 plus three piercing damage so go for it uh, three damage plus okay. three so that's six all right sounds good He's looking both, both looking right, looking left. This is much more dangerous than I might have anticipated. <laughs> now you see me. Now you don't. And <sighs> counterspell. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> hey, hey, you stop that! <laughs> you stop that! <laughs> um, a. Uh, a cloud, a cloud of, uh, basically a circle of darkness goes around you guys. Oh, fuck me. And Galron, Constitution saving throw. Shade, and everyone else can't see. Oh. Is your dog. <laughs> um. Oh, wait. You Can do. Can you see in this darkness? Nope, this is magical dark. Um. You do. <sighs> Algus, you hear, yeah. like, as like a taser starts to hit out, and you see lightning form in a hand, and he juts it at you, but you're able to move out of the way just in time. I'd like it to hit, please. You want, you're gonna just take it? I would like it to hit. You take 27 lightning damage. Okay, now Shit. I would like to use my reaction to use absorb elements. Okay, all right. Let's uh, do it. I'm in. Lightning? Yep. Uh, thunder, sorry. Thunder damage. Okay. Thunder damage. <coughs> it's, it still works. Mm -hmm. Um. You have resistance to the triggering until... Sorry, uh, let's see. Also, the first... Okay, so... 
I believe spell some I don't where, what is this saying? I absorb like half of it goes you take, down. You take half, so you take thirteen. Okay, that's fine. My uh I lose my temp HP. It doesn't touch my normal HP. Mm-hmm. And hope we all hit next time. Mm-hmm. All right, that's my reaction. Okay. All right. Ready to tickle a little bit. All right. <laughs> oh, this is why I hate wizards. Um, and you hear like pitter patter kind of back up a little bit, but you guys can't see anything where you're at. Uh, everyone else can't see anything either where they're at either. It's a giant cone of fifteen feet. So it sounds like he ran away a little bit. You think so? Oh, come on. So for right now? Would we be able to get an opportunity, or is that just because we can't see? You can... I get? will say yes, but it would be a disadvantage, because you can't... Uh, um, uh, I get a normal roll, though. Right, because you are, you are doing the thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, might as well take what we can get. Actually, yeah. sorry. Only Algus does. My bad. Only Algus does, in this sense. But he moved out of all of our attack ranges. Nope. I you're think still I know where five. he. I, I you're still I within five feet. Oh, that's. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know that. Okay. You're blind. Yes. Oh, Seventeen still. Oof, okay, that hits. <laughs> I've. Uh, thirteen. Five plus eight is thirteen, right? Mm-hmm. All right, that's psychic. Plus four thunder. <laughs> okay, so seventeen. 17. Jesus, okay. What? Uh, remind me, what skill did you use? Shadowblade, right? Shadowblade, yeah. Yeah. Um, Alright. Uh, in this kind of darkness, you see a shadowy flame kind of come out for you, Golron, as and you see it cut down the chest of, some, of who you assume to be this individual. Um, okay. Is he concentrating on this spell? The darkness Damn disappears. <laughs> I I got an eleven for my con uh, concentration check. Sure. I think that yep. passes. That, right? that beats that beats it. Yep. So nice. now everyone can see. <laughs> Where is it? Oops, I didn't mean to hide. <laughs> All right. Go runs dead. Hagma, you're up. <laughs> I was. I mean, Working. I gave you the okay. But... Uh, you oh, guys no. have. I'll give you so just to make sure you guys have your minute to decide what you want to do above the board if there's any strategy you want to do. I would I'm going to turn into a bear, so if anyone can use that to their advantage. <laughs> bear noises! A bear noises. I would, I would do love not to, let him uh, get away. Get flanking on him. Okay. Get away. <clears throat> so, I said do not let him get away. Get away? No, oh, no, don't. So I want get him away. out. Okay. Okay, gotcha. <clears throat> Uh, is just gonna keep trying to like fight against she wants to fight being frightened because she wants to help her friends she's frustrated and okay. frightened that's all okay uh Rosavalda is just still aiming gonna eight oh. shoot to shoot this thing right um Algus you you have a plus one to your armor class would that What's have changed on? the hit nope that he got from nope. absorb elements nope. okay I've already taken it into account Okay, cool. Um, okay. He is looking pretty bad, and as you guys are getting ready to get your attack... Enough. Clearly. Clearly you're... a strong crew. I yield. What do you guys do? A coward should know insight his place. check. Mm. Sure, you can insight can I, check. I can I also do that? Sure. Yeah, I don't believe him. As he's starting to kneel down and kind of have his hands up. No. This oh seven. my god. A seven. 19. Um, Sorry, what's this for? They're just checking if he's lying or not. Galron, Ow. he's telling the truth. He's he's for sure yielding. Oh, would I need to do that at a disadvantage since just, I'm raging? Nope, just I'll leave it at his is. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I yield. 
What? But... What? Really? I... I'm not the one you need to worry about. I am only a humble servant in the Karad. The family will know about this. Well, spare the Karad, spoil the child, and I attack. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit, shit. okay. If, if the goody two-shoe's doing it... <laughs> <laughs> sure! Uh, roll it. That was a good one, Kaliana. <laughs> okay, just checking if... if yeah, just roll it, just roll turn. it. <laughs> um, it's gonna be... Let's see. <laughs> Natural one. <laughs> okay, you run over. Uh, and... Yeah, the... <laughs> She trips. And everybody's like, ooh. <laughs> oh. Uh, this was my moment, damn it. <laughs> Algus. <laughs> are you Did rolling? You are you rolling? All right. Uh, so, I would like to attack, yes. Yeah? Uh, okay. However, my laptop doesn't have Wi Fi right now. So, would I be able to uh, move you into can move. a position where I'd have advantage? I... Uh, yes. You are on the other side of him with shade. You you circle around. All right, perfect. Thank you. Uh, yeah, let's uh, shadow blade him in the face. All right, roll it. Sure. Seventeen is gonna hit. Seventeen. That will for sure 17. hit. Yes. All right. All right. All right. Are that's we still in combat? Uh, seven points mm -hmm. of psychic. Okay. Seven just, points of psychic. Skip me. No. This Correct. is this is because they they did it in RP. You're gonna come to you're gonna come back to this. Um, all right, seven points. As he's like, <sighs> you don't want to do this. If I die, the family will kill all of you. But, but you just made a threat that they will know about this. Yeah, if we let you live, then you're going to tell them, and then they're going to know that we did it. Uh, explain what's better situation here. So it seems like a lose news for us, so what's the point in saving you? Yep. You... You just wait. The Karad never forget. Pack me, you're up. <laughs> Our day elephant. I'm okay, gonna but... cast... Uh, I'll cast Good Berry. Okay. Get myself a couple of does. Bagma, just I'm gonna... start shaking out these berries from a stick. <laughs> That's what? 15, 14, 15 feet. Um, I'm gonna give. Uh, so it gives me like 10, so I'm gonna give half to Thea. Sure. And then the rest of my I movement. I've taken damage. You don't have to give me any. That's not because I think because you took damage. It's just because. So you have. Okay. 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 Oh, yeah. Thank you. Girl, you need some vitamins. Um, Y'all need some milk. <laughs> <laughs> he is very pale for an elf. Okay. He is pale. Okay. I'm going to come over here, and then that is going to end my turn, because I don't know where we're going with this. Okay. Rose is still holding the bow, looking to Kaliana. Are we... Are we... Am I shooting, or are we halting? The man I'd rather not kill him. But he has not given us a reason to spare his life. Especially when you make veiled threats on mine. We could just go capture him, right? We could do that. And you see her walk up uh, and bring out the scimitars and will attempt to non-lethally knock him out. All right, none of those hit. The second one doesn't hit. Uh, she knocks him in the back with the scimitar. He is looking really bad, but he's still conscious. All right, Algus, you're up. Well, uh, we don't want to kill him. All right, uh, I'm just gonna start punching him then. I won't <laughs> use my shadow blade. Okay. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly so, where my mind went. How about a uh, natural 20? Okay. Go for it. Okay. Uh, that is... 
eight points of bludgeoning damage. Fuck it. And he knocks out. <laughs> nice. Knocks out. Okay, and now it seems combat has come to an end. Maybe? Combat has come to an end. Is Thea still frightened? Drops. Uh, you will be frightened a little bit longer, but you're still like your ter your your fear starts to drop. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over to to Thea, and uh, I don't, I just try to like calm her and like just put my hand on her shoulder. I'm sorry, Kaliana. I was not able to help. I tried to fight and I just got scared. I'm sorry. There was, there was no... You, you did nothing wrong. You... I'm going to cast Guidance on her and sure. give her a, a d4 for any sure. ability check. Yeah. As you're, as you're touching her and helping her kind of get through this, the fear subsides from you and you, you come back to your senses. <laughs> and she's wiping the last of the tears away. She's thinking Thank you, Kaliana. Do not yeah. apologize. Oh, cool. Okay. You are strong. Thank you for attempting. It seems Inside. your group is not afraid to make enemies in this town. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I didn't see you there. <laughs> I've been watching the entire oh, the, uh, time. <laughs> who is this? This is Kaliana's new boyfriend. It's a B. I excuse me, Pagma. That's very uncallous of you. Hello. Very callous Kalina, of you. Kalina, you have a boyfriend. Oh, I stop it. Uh, before he before he goes. Oh, to... hello, Kaliana's new boyfriend. <laughs> Don't get ahead of me, guys. Stop it. <laughs> DM. Yes. Uh, could I hog tie this guy? Sure. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay. Do I do, do do I have to make a roll? Because I don't um, know no, to. no, he's unconscious. You're you're totally fine. Okay. You can make sure of it. Um, I want to do that thing where, like, in the old west. Yep. Hog tie. Where they would throw the person over the, over the horse. Yep. Hundred <laughs> percent. Easily done. <laughs> Put it on there. Um, before he goes to Cecilia, goes to introduce himself to you, Thea. He goes to Pagma. Chivita, please. Ah, yes. He is your goat. Me. He was very useful for the fight. Thank you so much. <laughs> I see. Me. Chivita is, is one in a kind. Uh, but, uh, Miss, uh, what is your name? Looking over to you, Thea. Oh, hello, my name is Thea. He grabs your hand. Nice to meet you. May I? Oh. He, kisses, oh. he kisses your hand. What a gentle son. Oh. Yes, they always taught me to take good care of my skin. Up. And I see that Thank you've you done that. Me. Seems I, all of you have done that. As he's like checking all of you out. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Mm -hmm. Checking out Algus's ripped body. Yep. <laughs> Keep going, buddy. I am taken. <laughs> I think I know why he's checking us out. So we're all sexy, of course. You... He wants us as concubines. <laughs> <laughs> as uh you see that uh that uh as he's kind of like starting to talk to you guys a little like gnome walks up here's a two thousand gold four thousand gold for what i made bets what is this for for myself so thank you for oh, winning okay. i decided Whoa. to bet on the living crew <laughs> Damn, all so right. i very much appreciate the fact that you survived but what do you plan oh. to do with Galliot I'll keep Galliot. him I guess if you keep him I'll be the keeping him as a pet oh Galliot is the Karad's dock master he has a dock to attend to and if there is no dock master definitely this the family will know something is up Do you have anyone who could turn into him? I have a lot of resources, but none that I would care to use to start a war with the Karad. I mean, there's no reason. This... There's no reason to keep him. What? Uh, do, what do you want to replace him for? 
Gorgonzola. Actually, I do have a use for him. Oh? Mr. Cecilia, your job is to uh, defend the laws of, of, this, of this region, no matter who you represent, correct? I've heard that there are some egregious uh, laws that can be broken here. Depending if you're if you hire us, we protect you. Yes. Hmm. Well, the Crods have done some very illegal activity, and I have a spell that can hopefully make it oh come God. to light, oh as it God. were. Oh you. my God. I do. Well, oh my God. I am curious to see what other illegal activities that the Karad have been a part of, so... <coughs> but me. if I do this, would you be able to take action? You do look like a man of action. Oh, I am. <laughs> Never forget that. And I certainly Alandra, we need another cleanup. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, Pagma, just, you are like starting breathing. to get on the other side of my list. You see the little lady, like, brushing bodies away from the tea shop. <laughs> oh, there's a mess everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you, if, you're, if you're into action, I got this amazing sport you might like called WWE we Wizard Wrestling Entertainment. You might know me. I'm Algus the Strong, the Living Draco Lich, uh, Dragon Rider, Fearless, Juniper... Uh, shipwright, Sky Main. Don't listen to him at all. Sky Main. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Oh no. Sky Main, like the, the wealthy family, Sky Main. Oh no. From Baldur's Gate, Faerun. Yep. Cheers. It's us. I see. You you know them? I know a bit or two about your situation, so to speak. What I'll guess do you know? Wealthy? Which oh, yeah, I'm, I'm rich. How about this? Well, I'll, oh, I'll make a not deal. Me. I'll make a deal with you. Yeah. Should you? Come visit me at the Grimm's and Sash's headquarters. We can spar. Oh, hell yeah. Should you win, I'll tell you what you want to know. And give you an opportunity to join. I could always use a Sky Main. I wasn't able to get one before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I... Alright, I'll... I'll take you up on that offer when I get a chance. Algus, when were yep. you planning to tell us that you are worth something? <laughs> I, I've always, I've always said I was some, I'm world heavyweight champion. I'm, we did not believe this until recently. I've been saying it for months. Words, words do not. <laughs> okay. So you are. You were saying. My ego's a little hurt, but uh, I'll see you later. Oh, all right. Uh, Rosavalda walks up, and you see her kind of like gently look away as Cecilio glances at her. Ah. And who is this young maiden? My my name is Rosabalda. And she kind of like, kind of turns away. Ah, I see. Very well. He turns to, call, to you, Kaliana. So, I would say, let's get to your pen quickly. There are people who I assume you want to do business with. The ravens. Are looking to bite as you mm. see a crowd of people kind of gathering uh so you clearly see some of them looking more wealthy 
Um, you see people holding like bags, of, like set pl uh, money, and the. Mm -hmm. I guess you now have your dock. I am the champion of the dock. Well, the plan I have. Uh, I've been given a great power from the Dawn Father, um, to seek the truth from people. Ah, oh, I see. And, but my concern is, I'm still relatively new to uh, this power, and there is quite a good chance that he may resist it. So I could either attempt it now, or I could attempt it now and we keep him for perhaps a day and try again. Or, say, if I had more of a... If you or anyone you know has an ability to bane a person, to make them a little bit less, more susceptible to. Like I said. Charismatics. In this particular situation, I am merely mm. an audience member, and so are the rest of my associates. Of course. Well, I'm willing to roll the dice, as they say. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. As you did together, all right. <laughs> what do dice have to do with anything that we course. do here? <laughs> uh, 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 all right. I guess puts away his dice. <laughs> um, let's attempt to. Well, let's get this gentleman in, in somewhere private. I don't Can think anyone's going to let you leave until this dock business is over. So you have to do it here. Right. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Right here. I'll hold him. I'll hold him. All right. Me. Can somebody wake him up? Yep, I slap him. You. Hey. What? What is it? The zone of truth. Oh. Uh, charisma, charisma of 13. Natural one. <laughs> so, uh, okay. You the creature know. that entered this bar. I'll save a creature against the individual that on the radius. Let's see. And it lasts. Let me let me just make sure. I rolled a fourteen. Okay, it lasts ten minutes. Okay. Um, Sounds good. Oh yeah, right. I'm it really affects the Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> affects Does he say everyone. that? Does he say that? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what does he say? <laughs> Yeah, I guess says I'm secretly into Kalyana. Kalyana blushes. Um, and anyway, um, at the task at hand, task at hand. Enough of your antics. Um, what is your name? As you see him, like heavy, like heavily, like <sighs> as he, he just stays quiet. All right, all right. Uh, I take his tongue. You're gonna talk, or I'm gonna give you a real good uppercut, and you'll never be able to talk ever again. You get it? You will answer Shit. every question. I'll let go. If My I friend here. die, the family will for sure come after all of you. Well, none of us want you to die. Of course not. Nobody. N does anybody want him to die? No? Yeah. You see Cecilia kind of turned we around, want... talking to, like, the orcs. We want the same thing. We want you to live. We want you to carry on with your harbor mastery. And we want the truth. So you will answer every question. Or what, I die? Oh, no, there are far worse things than death. Just being five minutes with my friend Algis here is... <laughs> probably I even heard, worse. I heard the the black market does well with organs, and well, I could remove a kidney and uh, sew you back up. Okay. We also got healing spells. You're gonna be fine, buddy. You're just gonna be missing a few body parts. How long have you been working with the Karats? <sighs> uh, real quick, roll me an intimidation check. Uh, at advantage, Kalyana. Because everybody's basically there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> 16 and uh, intimidation. Oh, zero. So 16. Okay. Okay. 
You see him kind of, like, lower his head down. I've been born into this family my entire life. So you're a natural crud. I... Uh, you're aware of many of their dealings? I am aware of what I'm aware of. And are you aware of any watchers that are in the crowd's possession? There are several guards that are paid by the Karad to keep us safe. And you are aware that taking a watcher do you mean a keeper? Is a, or I'm sorry, a keeper. Okay. Damn it. A, a keeper is what I meant to say. Mm -hmm. I know the rules of my homeland, elf. And so do I, yet one of us seems to be skirting them. <sighs> you seem I ask you again. Hmm? Do you know of a keeper in the Karad's possession? Anything other than a no, I will assume is a yes. You see him like starting to like have like he's like trying to keep it in. Um, roll me an insight check. I get my spoon out. Okay. You know what these are good for? Eye scooping. Uh, fifteen. I'm sending you this. Thea okay. Thea covers Mariette's ears. I guess I have a much better tool for this. For this. Oh, oh god. Uh, what you got? Pull out a fucking hunter's knife. Oh, no, no, that's gonna cause damn. You want to get the the curve and just pop it out. Just pop it out. There's a there's a there's a eyeball scoop on the end. Oh, she got one of those. Oh, all right. I am a hunter. Yeah, of course. Understand. Um, <clears throat> he. He's just... So you're not saying. So you're not saying no. So. If you you could say no now, you that's very a, a very reasonable answer to this question. Do you know of any keepers in the Karad's possession? No, you do not, right? Fuck you! And he bites his tongue. Off. So, yep. as we have... Then he uh, dies. Oh, ow. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Well... Well, that's a yes to that question. As you can see, uh, Cecilio, they have a keeper in their watch. In, in their possession. You do realize if that is true, the whole family goes down. But... How certain are you? This simple. We have to see it. Oh, I'm very, very certain. In fact, I think I know exactly where that keeper is. Okay. He was looking in a very particular direction, right at that building. The Karad Warehouse. Which actually corroborates some information, some rumors that we've had before, that it may have been kept in the warehouse. In addition, there's a store that we found uh, selling uh, goggles that looked just like a keeper's. You mean like these ones? And he pulls out like these goggles. Yes, like those. Everybody likes to wear these. They're pretty. Oh, he puts them on. Dear. Oh, dear. Don't kill my vibe here. He lifts I'm up trying to pull a <laughs> You stop it. You stop it, you minx. <laughs> Get the towels ready. <laughs> I will shave your mane off if you don't stop. Gorun comes back with towels. <laughs> oh, please take care of them. Um, As you guys are... Or let us... Let you guys take care of this. I will stick around. I'm curious to see how you handle the business in Gloomrat. 
<laughs> he walks away. Uh, with Ruin and Chibita in his head. Well, he was absolutely useless. <laughs> that point, man makes me question my sexuality. Now hands you the the towels. Oh, stop it! I was playing him. <laughs> um, Dia pipes up. Why do you need towels? <laughs> oh, God. Algus slips. I am surrounded by kindergarten. I, I swear to God, I, a woman of my distinction and stature would not fall so easily to such a man. You see him doting on all the women. That's his weakness. I believe you need to make a uh, charisma check or charisma saving throw. <laughs> Stop, Stop it. <laughs> A man of his distinction, his look, and his adornments has a weakness, and usually it is uh, beautiful-looking people. Yeah, now you are drooling the more you talk about him. You, 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 Pagma, stop it! <laughs> <coughs> Thea goes, oh, I can see why you would be a weakness of his then. <laughs> oh, thank you, my dear. Secret flesh beyond. Okay. <laughs> you don't know well, that. Uh, Pag Sorry, Pagma? <clears throat> yes. I, I was being truthful about the uh, black market, so if you want to start scooping some guts. Uh, it is a little bit different than animals, but I will try my best. Rosevalda comes behind you guys. It looks like there's a crowd. Uh, as you guys oh. turn behind, you see um, not the same merchant but like a similar merchant to what you saw at the Karad tent who looks very pissed. He's like, I hold he, he has like an angry smile um, wearing Shadow. like navy blue and golds, but you, he looks very wealthy and very clean. Uh, next to him is someone who looks similar to Peralver, but a little younger, wearing adorning similar... Uh, coats to what you saw with the guards the other day, where he looks almost like a soldier. You see him with white gloves, clean and pristine, and they're just staring at each other. Um, you see a older Shatterkai looking woman, a uh, little more voluptuous, dark dress, very beautiful and regal looking, with white hair um, and like pearls around the arms. And a halfling. Suit, tie, top hat. And you also see Palandra with a little bag of money. Oh, my heart. Uh, <clears throat> who, do we, who do you talk to first? Let's go down the line. End in with Alondra? Yeah. I, I asked the group. Doesn't matter, I guess, right? Wait, they're all, all of okay them are you? together? They're all lined up, yeah, like in front of you. I think they're individuals waiting to talk to yeah, us. Yeah, they're wait they're all oh. kind of like they're all kinda of like there in front of you, grouped up. Autograph time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh <laughs> you however Go ahead. Yeah. Let's uh start with the first one you described. Okay. The uh what was it? Pissed off the angry looking merchant okay. guy. How do you do? Uh, Algus, the strong, uh, keeping it short today, uh, champion of the dock. Shit, that's going on my name. You killed one of our own. Oh, we did no such thing. He killed himself. He did kill himself. He yeah, did. Is that so? I yes, mean, were you standing right there? <laughs> Don't worry about where I was when this was happening. Are you selling the dock or not? How much you offer? A man of business. Actually, hold on. Let me talk to my uh, co co colleagues for a second. Right. <clears throat> How are we doing this? Are we are we trying to portion it like completely off to one person? What, or we what have, are we going to do with the dock? <laughs> do we have our own like uh, like you know ten percent or something each? You know, where there's one, two, three, four, five of us. Twenty oh. percent each of the dock is owned by each of us. Oh, Rosvalda. I don't like that number. 
Who are we selling to? I don't Looks know. Looks like a member of the crowd. I don't really want no. any of this dock. I don't really want anything oh, in God. this town. All right, twenty percent to each of us. What are we thinking? This is all right with me. We could also have a leasing uh, agreement in perpetuity of royalties, you know. Yep, yep. Is there some kind of problem with but there we being won't be a power imbalance if the cards get not one but two dots? Well, yeah, but maybe we if we, as a, a per Caliana, lease it out, whatever, you know, or whatever we they make, we take a uh, commission of, because it's our dock, they basically pay rent to us maybe i like we that are not, we are not giving it to the first bidder dear we are going to see who gives us the best offer all right all could right. be the current but it could also be somebody else whatever however much they're gonna pay us each month or you know we take a percentage off of what they make maybe hmm. uh depending on you know if it the thing is karad they'll make a lot of money if we want to make a deal take a percentage off what they make we do have to draw nope. papers. That is true. Uh, we <laughs> um, would have to do that. DM. Yes. Uh, does the halfling have a monocle? Sure. <laughs> he looks just like the Monopoly Man. That's right. Mom Monopoly Man. <laughs> um, with this dock, is it? Would we be able to uh, set up multiple shops, or would we? If you or got the it, money, it... you can do whatever you want. So, like, could we, like, sell, like, or, like, like basically rent out portions of the dock to different people? How big is it? Yeah, that's what I'm asking, really. Ba essentially, the map is what you're looking at. That's It's a pretty oh, big okay. size dock. Thing. Yeah, the whole thing. <coughs> Perhaps. Minus the boats and all that, but essentially that. What if... So, it's about... Hmm. I'll count real quick while you guys are doing anything. What if we don't ask for money? About a hundred by hundred this... feet. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? Hundred feet by hundred feet. This? Essentially, yes. Oh, ask for what? Perhaps the service and aid of a some sort of creature that they have in their possession, <laughs> and when they. <laughs> display that creature we enact a sting of some sort well why not both i kind of like the money i don't can, want uh, them to have possession of this we can uh have good relations by giving them some of the dock follow it up by like hmm, got something a little a little extra a little oh, no. special maybe something no illegal that no one should have this whole family Boats. is going down maybe we should figure out all of the offers before we take talk, talk about this and we could well, try to get immunity worked into the deal because i don't want well, to see any of you get hurt because of this. i think that is out of the question because immunity isn't really i think that's not really a thing people will follow here okay. here it's a thieves' agreement. You hear, uh, you, no hear this, in the city. you hear the merchant speak up. Quit wasting my time. I'll give you a rotten amount, and maybe hold back the death. How much? I don't like. Two thousand. Platinum. Gold. Two thousand, and you don't die. about this 2000 and you get that little shop area there all or nothing it's your lives on the line this is no way to do business this is no way to do business correct i believe it's correct lee oh i know what i'm doing do you well then i uh, <laughs> you should learn how to speak Correct. No, no, no Algus. He, he was using a a, a purpose. A, 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 whatever. <laughs> I, I'm trying to make him feel stupid. Here. Uh, yeah, okay, Two yes. thousand. Yes. You are very good at that. Die. Yep. You know, a lot of people throw in the word "die," "death," "dead." Oh, fuck you. 
Fine. I'll make sure to tell the family. Wait, you... Good this luck. Is, this is a very poor... And he walks, he walks, he, he walks away. I... Should we go after him? Nope. That went very well. Um, you Who see is next? The, the, gentle, the other gentleman, uh, the har he's, uh, you can tell he's from Harskull, uh, in a red robe with gold, um, very, again, soldier looking. Well, hello, I see that the fat one didn't do so well. So, how about you do business with a real family? I don't believe we've had the pleasure. Gary, Gary Harskull. Mr. Haskell. Yes, cousin to Parolver. I am the dockmaster in this area, and I would like to purchase from you. I heard the man yell um, 2,000. How about I start you at 3, 3,000? That is a very interesting offer. Uh, what relation do you have with um the owner of uh, your family shop. We're cousins. Cousin, right? We're cousins. Cousin. We're cousins. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um, are you aware of our dealings with them? We're cousins. All right. So is that a yes? That is a yes. He just kind of smiled. They're cousins. Right? Gorgonzola. Wink. Get no, it. I'm, I'm trying to figure out. Roll me oh inside check. Roll yes. me inside yes, check. We... Roll me inside <laughs> check. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Thank you. Is uh, it like that episode about... of Avatar where it's the same person just with a different hat? Yeah. Sort of. It's how, it's a younger pullover. About... Yeah. Instead, I'm not of sure. Just... Yep. Okay. Is it, instead of you just buying it, I rolled a natural one. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. How about we set up? A rent system, or we uh, take a percentage off what you make from the dock. We could do that, but I think having access to our wares is much more in your favor than us having access to yours. I don't really know what you have. <laughs> well, that is very. True. You would set up. You would set up here. Yeah. You know, sell your stuff. Uh huh. But because it's our dock and we're letting you use it, you would give us percentage off of what you make and or uh, give us monthly rent because it is our dock how about I up it to 32 gold 3200 gold and you get a major discount on our wares. All right, all right, all right. I we, know you're a businessman. Miss, Mr. Hos, Hos, oh, go ahead. Go, I, Miss Thea. Oh, go. no, I'm just concerned that it is a dangerous town. Is there anything that you can do to help us? I mean, since we are selling you a dock and we have also found information that your cousin asked for, like, is, is there anything you can do for our security? I am not the one for security, nor do I oh. know what you're referring to with my cousin. If you're looking for security, oh, you hire them. And he points to the Crimson Sashes. Okay, I'm done. M Mr. Huskell, um, we, we do appreciate the offer, but of course we, it as, as a good businessman, uh, business acumen, we do have to entertain other offers. I see. Where, where should we contact you if we are to uh, agree to your terms? You may head straight to the Emporium. I will keep the same at 32. Discount on the wares. And give you this. You're going to have a hard time sharing the dock. Again, I'm sure... My cousin has informed you how some factions, nobles, things like that, don't like sharing. So, just a heads up on the next ones. I will see you, I will let my cousin know, 
And so if you wish to continue, you may talk to him at the Emporium. He will have more info for you. You see him kind of gently walk off. He, he bows and, and walks. Um, What's a halfling? Nice. A, Is it the halfling? No, the Shatterkai. Well, hello! I've not seen you all before. My name is... Algus doesn't like this one. <laughs> My name is Siada Dario. I own the family restaurant and... clothing of sorts. I just wish to make my wares much more available to the crowd. Um, you see her looking at Rosavalda as you know, Ro Rosavalda's kind of looking away again. Go ahead. Did you hear our uh, proposition to Mr. Harskell there? I heard a bit, but I tried to not be rude and get in an overstep and eavesdrop. Please, tell me, what did you say? We're looking oh, for... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, we are more interested in hearing what you have to offer. Never give up a negotiating position. I was gonna... I mean, the offer we gave Harskell was pretty open. <laughs> <laughs> well, I... would like to do this for my family and make sure we... Can expand and make maybe a better name for my people. I'm sure you've heard a few things about my kind, and I want to change that. And I think having something at the dock would be helpful. You said Shatterkai? Yeah, Shatterkai. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the halfling's still here, right? <clears throat> yeah, he's. They're all. Everyone else is still there. She's still like you. You see her darting her eyes towards Rosavalda as she kind of like like kind of snaps and, a, and another Shatterkai walks up um, in a suit kind of almost like a butler and she whispers over and you see his eyes like widen and he runs off. Do we hear the language? Nope. I didn't even hear it. Mm -mm. Um... <clears throat> Well, we're looking to either uh, rent the uh, dock out uh, for a percentage or a monthly rate, uh, percentage of what you make a month or a certain uh, set amount. I... Thank you, but I think we have better dealings to deal with. I will leave you to this. My apologies for wasting your time. As she bows and walks off. Uh, Mr. Monopoly Man? Alright. <laughs> Just kind of like saunters <laughs> over. Fun fact, the Monopoly Man does not have that... a monocle. <laughs> yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Mm -mm. No, he doesn't. I have the Monopoly game. Mandela Effect. <laughs> I have him. To, I can confirm he does not have a monocle. I can see it from here. As you see, God, he has a, he has like a little backpack, and he pulls it out, and he you hear like all the all the the, the, the gold. The name's Fizzit Fizzbon. How? Who am I addressing? Guys, I really like him. <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna lie. As you see, as he grabs the monocle <sighs> and like wipes it, <laughs> puts it back, gives a wink. <laughs> oh, I love him now. I'm gonna do the Kaliana and ask what they can do for us. Yes, of course. I'll go ahead. I my what? apologies. Did have you? Uh... Oh, sorry. You guys are talking to. Go ahead. No, no, no. Please, please, by all means, sir. Mister Fizzy Whizbang, or whatever your name is. Fizzbang. <laughs> I please. Have you heard of my business? I fucking love it. Fizzbang. Fizzbang. Yes, my name is Fizzit Fizzbang. I own the shop over in the lighter. Uh, the Light Ward. The Light Ward? Yes, at the very entrance of town. We specialize in outer plane items, wares, magic things. Maybe, I was thinking, I'd like to set up something on the dock. How does, uh, 4,000 sound? And maybe you have access to 
my items a little more access than usual. What kind of items do you sell? You said extra planar things. Outer planar things, aye. We things from the prime material, things from the fey, things from the astral plane, anything that can port in. But we do specialize in the fey. Oh, was this the place that we passed and I and I asked you that question about the the finger bone? Nope. Um, no. Okay. All right. How about a counter offer? We're looking to rent it. I gave him the speech. <laughs> <laughs> There's a problem with doing that. I I do need the entire dock for my business. I have it. It would just that you would be renting it out or giving us money for it every month. And how much are you looking for in a monthly deal? Oh, finally, someone who's actually entertaining the idea, thank God. <laughs> I do say, Argus, we don't plan on being here for long, do we? Maybe you don't. I just give a concerned look to Argus. What else I got? I got nothing. We've already been over this, Akalion. I got nothing. But I can make something. I thought you wanted to try to marry the Raven Queen. She's here. But we have not <laughs> now, seen her yet. Hey, we'll get there. Um, <clears throat> looking for, what do we think in a month? Uh, everybody, I don't know real estate. <laughs> I'm still very much interested in the Harskull's offer. Oh. Well, so, I'm not. Like, Puff, out of I... character, remember we were supposed to try and figure out where this Fey portal is. Yeah. And it mm. seems like they're getting items from there. So. Hmm. Just thought. Mm. Just I didn't even think there. about that. That was just connecting the dots there. Yeah, but Thank I want to. Yeah, but I also want to strengthen our connection to the Harskulls. Yes, I'm. I'm torn between the two. I'm a little. I mean, we do have a good relationship with the Harskulls. I don't want to sour it. Matt, were you I... trying to say something? Although, if to be do... fair, if we do take down the Karads, Sorry? that could be an opportunity for the Heart Skulls to get their dock. And not all will be lost. Yep. I mean, we, are do we would be the doing them an in a huge favor. So yeah, to deny their offer would be not entirely terrible. Uh, it doesn't seem like I'm gonna be getting my rent out of this dock is what I'm getting from all of you I live in a field I don't know much about this selling of properties it's more like instead of getting 4,000 gold once you'll get 4,000 gold uh, every like years I understand that I just don't understand the process that gets you there. I am uh, keeping. You kind of just quiet wait. For and now. Collect you money. see, property rights is not. <laughs> <laughs> it goes down a whole <laughs> spiel. <of laughs> real so, estate. according to municipal yep. laws. <laughs> yep, I've, I've thought about this. I can, I can recite it if you want. The contract so we'll law the... is really interesting. Will leave Golron and uh, um, Algus to do it the is... sales while I get a, a real estate lesson? <laughs> You right. see him kind of like holding. You see, saying. you see, Physic kind of like doing the thing where he's like rocking back and forth on his hands as he's like, or on his feet as he has his hands behind his back. This this might sound like just just hear me out on this one. I did say four gold up front or four thousand gold, uh, but what if what if uh, I drop you down to three point five and I give you access to my source? I overheard maybe a little names of Haskell, and we do trade with the family. You do? I don't want 
We do. You see, we're the main source for fays. Anything from the fae. Anything from the outer planes we are. So you're all fae every day? That's what we say. <laughs> I mean, I am too. <laughs> I see that. Throwing a number out there, because uh, I know Algus was asking, um, if you divided $4,000 by, say, 12 months, you get $333. It's just the idea for monthly price. Sorry. Okay, well, that's a pretty low ball there, Thea, but all right. It's a very a low ball. A month. Or a thousand gold a month. I think we should have started there, but here we are. <laughs> Excuse me, All Ms. right. M Mr. I didn't propose Frizzle. that to the guy. I told that to Algus specifically. Oh. Yeah, no, like, no, no, hey, no, 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 no. Thea does not negotiate directly. She's like <laughs> the accountant. <laughs> Could you tell us where your That's... shop is on this map here? Oh, of course. Uh, let me take a look. He grabs the monocle and like... Washes it again to look at it. Oh, I love this so much. It's a good idea, Thea, but we gotta highball it first and then bring it down so he thinks he's getting a deal. That's the part of the deal there. I oh, must say, I this is really good high school work. I just can see a craftsman when I find it. We are here on number 15. Let's see if I can see that. Okay, so. I do want to make sure I have time for for two for two. So, sorry, there's oh oh. Don't worry about that. It a halfling thing. Uh, I'll be I'll be back for if you want to enjoy and work with me. I will be meet you there. You can I'll meet you at the front door. I want to be gone from this place oh. as soon as possible. If there's anything I'll, else? I'll, uh, I mean, how about 1200 a month? I need to be back at my at my shop, and we'll talk okay. more business there. Alright. Oh shit, you're like... Oh, alright. You see... Alondra! <laughs> Oh he hello! I and she has like a, she has like a little like she has like her, <laughs> she waddles over with her little bag of gold. I heard a bit of the money, and I, I sadly don't have as much. But I heard maybe you're not looking for everything up front. I I want to start grow my my shop a bit bigger in in this plane. It'd be the fourth one, the fourth best nutmeg. They I'd like to call it. There's a sudden wealth of goodness that I feel from this woman. I do not understand, but I think we have to take this deal. Unfortunately, I don't have too much. It's only 2,000. I also feel like she could smite us down with a, a look. Um, how no. much money uh, does your tea shop make? Uh, at the moment, maybe, uh... She's like counting in her head. Five hundred gold a month, usually. Yeah. All right. How much are you expecting to sail with the dock, the entire dock? On uh, this episode of Shark Tank. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Listen, I'll offer you two percent at fifty thousand, <laughs> but right. I want uh, <laughs> exclusive rights. <laughs> um. It would, it would probably maybe ten times that I would think on the size at least to start with I don't know if you're looking for something more I'm sorry I don't thousand a month all right um it might take me a little bit I won't be able to start it too soon hey, uh... maybe a month or two to finally get everything up and running right. um how about we will, uh, for the first three months, 
each month will cost you, uh, let's say, 300 And then every month after that will go up to 650 Roll me a persuasion check. I would like to have someone else say this in my place. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> Not gonna be me. You said it. <laughs> Can I cast enhance, enhance ability on him before he does it? Roll. So Thea has what? a plus zero and not a negative. Oh. What oh no. It? How about a five? I don't know if I can hit if I can do that, but I I have, I have my two thousand. I can certainly well, try. Maybe. What about a percentage of sales? That way, when you're starting off, it's a smaller amount. And then when you do become successful, it does scale up. That I can do. I can... I don't know how long you plan to stay in Gloomrot, but I definitely want to make this a safe haven of sorts for future individuals such as yourself. Do I sense hey, any sort of... It's a Londra. We can trust her. Do I sense any sort of significant power for coming from her. <laughs> is she the, the old lady from Beauty and the Beast? <laughs> no, <laughs> With the rose. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Uh, I will come here. If I do leave, I will come here as soon as I can to collect. Now, I will keep books. I will keep track of how much, uh, how, how many months, and then I expect you to have books of what you made. And then we'll, we'll work it from there when I see you, if we are no longer here. Does, right? that, does that mean you're going to be working straight with Kumorn? Who? Kumorn that is the dock master of the entire undrowned undrow quarter. Uh, uh, what, what would I... Um, why, why would I be working with him? Exactly. He, you, every ledger, he knows what Everyone's selling here. You, every amount he knows, everything. Yeah, I, I would be checking in with him. I'd be working with him. You do see, uh, he has not approached, <clears throat> but where the warehouses are, you do see a taller, he is a half-elf, pale gray skin, uh, withering dark hair is combed to one side. He does have very snake-like eyes, pointed ears. He wears purple and gold robes, and he holds a ledger as he has this weird, very sadistic smile. He is followed around by eight ghouls, four on each side. He does a little... In, like, a line? Uh, yeah, just in a line. Uh, like yeah, a conga uh, line? <laughs> a or, like, a can-can line? <laughs> Grease and they're snapping their fingers as, yeah. <laughs> as the his fingers are start breaking off. They're they're on. There's four on either side of him, so he has like a kind of fan out. When you're a corrod, you're a corrod all the way from your first cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yes, that is that is Mister Kamorn. He uh, he he. She kind of leans like like steps up a little bit to kind of lean in. I don't like him. He's very... Uh, he's very conniving, that one. Uh, well... Um, what are we thinking for a percentage? 35? You want 35% yep. of her stuff? Damn, yep. that's a lot. <laughs> Holy shit! You better roll lot. high, boy. I'm trying to... I'm asking the group. Okay. I'm trying to make... I'm trying to make money every month. All right? Not just this one-time 4,000 gold bullshit. <laughs> Look, to be honest, I don't wish to stay here for more than a month, let alone a couple of days. Listen, I understand that. And then I wouldn't mind taking trips back here every now and then. I'll collect for us, all right? If, if you know how. I'll fucking find out. You know who I am? I'm 
Algus, Algus the, strong, the Strong, the Living the Draco, living Lich, Draco Lich, Dragon Rider, Dragon Rider the Fearless Tumor Percy, Strider Scott Main Champion of the Dark. <laughs> you see he is writing down the ever-evolving <laughs> list of names on Algus. I will find a way. I mean, obviously there are portals to other planes here. If we could find a way to get back. If we can find a way to get out. I am not against this. In the uh, general chat, I put the basically rudimentary business mm. stuff for you guys to kind of have an idea of just how things, how much things would cost. I can also just get someone stronger than I, I know that's hard to believe, to just cast Plane Shift, bring me here. To get a Plane Shift back. Be I expensive, yeah, but I mean, I can do this not later. as much as full gain. I do know how to make tuning forks now. Yeah, there you go. I th I think it's a good deal. What are you guys thinking? Since Thea's the self-proclaimed accountant, she's, like, already done out, like, future sales projections in her notebook. She's like, <laughs> well, you see, you want to recoup um, the total amount uh, versus what they were offering for a uh, flat. She just, like, babbles on in math. And <laughs> it, long story short, she's like, yeah, over an extended period of time, we would break even. Sort of. Price-wise. But it would require time. Look, my, my vote is to keep is to support anything that keeps us untethered from this place. So you just want to sell it outright? That would be my vote. We could put it to a group vote. There's six of us. Five. Roosevelt is not part of Sorry. it. Sorry. There's five of us. Yeah. Well, plus a, a, a five would um offset a uh, a number mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. rosavalda decided to vote and we and we tied we, we we'd be in at an impasse i know oh. i realize this hmm. um do we want to do a straw poll of what we all feel let's what do we all feel first How about i mean uh Kaliana i wants to sell yeah. it Golron? I'm for the Harskulls, the little halfling man, or Alondra. Do you want to just sell it, or do you want to uh, rent it out? That's what I'm asking. First, and selling then... it outright sounds like the, the the best option. Okay. Pagma? Simply because I would like to return to my family. Alondra pipes up a little bit. I, I okay. do I do plan to make more of these in different areas. Maybe you can help me make more. Or... Ah, so fr a franchise fee. Now this is a different story. That was my no. original plan. I have done this. Let's make it more complicated, shall we? Already. <laughs> trying to work on the third one, but I'm having trouble setting it up in Exandria. <laughs> Oh, in Alexandria. Where at no, Sadash? Uh, uh, not my Molly game. In... <laughs> do it. Not my game. Not Whoever my does game. not let you do that sounds like a dick. <laughs> where, where are we talking here? Pagma. <laughs> Fuck you all. What does Pagma want to do? I am uh, honestly doesn't matter either way to me. However, I do see much more benefit getting. Uh, Going for Alondra and having a reoccurring payment to us. If that is the case, so maybe I vote for the uh, two thousand every time we set up, and each time you go around and well, no, two thousand seems this is well, two thousand for this one. It's sadly all I have at the moment, but 
Should we get another one? Uh, I would hope, and I would think, <coughs> that this would be successful, and if that's the case, I pay you double for the next one. I'm not looking I, for one time actually, dealings. I actually like that. You have a home in any place you set up. Would the, I just are don't we think... going to share the profit from the proceedings? Because I, I do need money for tuition. If I get if I ever get back to school. If uh, would you rather I pay you to make more of my shops, or would you rather have me give you percentages depending on? I would like the percentages. It's two to two. Thea, how are you feeling? Just going off of. <laughs> the fact that Thea wants tuition money and she does the math, she would vote for percentages in the long run. Alright. Percentages. Uh, 35% from what you make. That is a lot. Roll me a persuasion check. We're gonna That's bring it down. High. I gotta stop. I gotta stop talking. Well, can I make high a, ball! Can I, high ball! Can I... <laughs> Can I cast enhance ability on him to make his give him advantage? Um, <clears throat> you try. Nothing comes out. Okay, well that he is a god. That is an eighteen. That is so much. I know. Well, if I'm giving you thirty-five percent. Then you hand me the dock without the two thousand. No upfront costs, and I run the business. You still have your home, you still have your thirty-five percent, but you do help me build more of these in different planes. It's like a deal? It's Anything almost else you wanna add? Like a partnership you you're suggesting. Yes, why, why? You clearly... Well, you clearly know how to defend yourselves, and I could always use strong individuals to protect my taverns, to protect my homes and my business. So... So, 35% <clears throat> off your business profits for the, uh, for the, uh, TM Best Nutmeg, uh, tavern, bar, and inn franchise. Are you agreeing to help me make more of these? 100% Miss Alondra. And they could help you make equipment for your business, perhaps. I am from Exandria, so you do have a contact there. She just said, oh, um, maybe you can I'm get a Beirut. certain god to get me something there. <laughs> If only. She shakes her fist. Only. <laughs> Get it written up. Then, uh... Well, in this particular case, if we're doing something like this, I can take care of the paperwork with an gloom rot and the planes. Oh, okay. She, uh... She her notebook. She sticks out her hand. Just to make things clear... 35% of profits for what I make every we'll make it 30 days instead of months days change sure and you uh, help me make a nutmeg in every plane deal I'm sure. gonna shake her hand I'm gonna do it okay. clasp. you clasp her hand uh, you see, you you that see, dies. <laughs> yeah, right. you see, <laughs> you see the. Uh, I'll say this above the board because you because you well I'll, no I'll describe it this way. Um, you see like the sign like different different nutmegs that she's already done. Um, you do see the sign that says the first best nutmeg. You see the one that says the second best nutmeg, and you see how they flourish. Um, 
And then you get this uh, very dreadful feeling inside of you. Don't fuck with me.